I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Otter power? I'm so not there. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? 
That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here. Give the drone a whirl around campus. I bet David Madsen would love to spy on us with this kind of drone. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Hey, Hayden. There's... That's me, all right. You look... It's... the vortex only if you're not if you say so i do you mean hang Chill. it seems you're hot
so... I knew... What do you think happened to her? Um... Uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? I'm more confused... Thought it is, Mac. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh... Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Clever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. 
What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse, Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. 
And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. So bizarro to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. I could go for a burger now. There's Justin and his skater policy. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? I came to nose slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. You're not really a skate Betty. <laughs> not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board too. Rachel and Amber and her punk friend used to love skating with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. Ran away. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment.
Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Yeah. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. With all these new droughts, it seems kind of obscene to waste all this water. Oh, dude. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Yeah. Oh. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Dude. Hey, Logan Robertson, all American asshole. Just. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. No. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. This is going to be too damn cute. At least it's not a cat picture. Nice, bro. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Awesome. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Awesome. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Nice, bro. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X-Files weird. <laughs> Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Uh, only she would know that, right? Nice, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? 
Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, Sweet. like a clock. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Dude. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. Nice. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Yeah. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Oh, dude. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. No. Awesome. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. I must have missed something. I should rewind. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Awesome. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sweet. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Nice, bro. Do you understand English? Get lost. Yeah. Awesome. No. Sweet. 
tweet. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice, bro. Dude. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Sammy, I'm oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Awesome. Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, yeah. Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice, bro. You deserve a better shot. Oh. Sorry about blocking you and, and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Nice, bro. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long.